One second. In that kind of day. Uh, what's up everybody? My name is Brandon Thrasher. Welcome. Come on in the garage. Have a seat. Let's talk. I uh, got another unboxing, unpackaging, opening shit up. Okay. Um, so, before I do, I guess I got to figure out what I'm going to open it up with. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to use the uh, Kyle's or uh, Kevin's Evo 2.0 here. And I got a package, obviously, that I got a package. Damn, that thing is sharp. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> amazing. This thing is amazing. Like, oops. If you guys don't know, I've been carrying three knives. Kevin's 2.0, Kevin's 229 Chavez Rendition Custom from Fanatic Edge. This thing is fantastic. And my newly acquired Field Duty full size. Ah, ha, ha. Beautiful mess knife. I come home, get dressed, change, shower, you know, all that good shit. So it's today, I just came home, showered, pajamas, man. It's, it's been that kind of day. So, got a package here from Asher Knives. Got, finally got the Asher Knives in the house. Got a couple stickers. A couple Asher Knives stickers. Pretty sweet. Right on. Got the box. Asher Knife Co. on the side. Got the uh, uh, emblem and the, the logo in the front of the box there. So, I needed to get my hands on this, guys, because I am trying to acquire what I believe are the best bang for your buck knives under $100. And the box is trying to wrestle match me right now. So that means you got to pull out a gas station. Oh, shit. I have my hand next to the gears. Gas station fight knife. So I can uh, get a little leverage on her. Oh, oh, look at that. Presentation side up. Ready to go. That's how the box opens. There's the knife. Straight to the point, and I dig it because it's minimal and straight to the point. So this is the all titanium Asher Knives Spiro. Oh oh oh! Uh, I, I don't think it was locked in. Okay, yeah, I don't think it was locked in. Needs a little break in, like most knives. It is a frame lock. It's all titanium. I uh, believe it's S35VN. Yes, S35VN. Says it right there on the blade. It is a... Uh, it's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. It's got the logo on the blade. Very minimal billboarding. I'm a fan of minimal billboarding. It's sharp. Shake shut, very smooth. Yeah, I'm impressed. Very thin knife, dead center. It's got, I think this is a G10 backspacer, a black, just simple G10 backspacer. Looks good. The pocket clip is interesting. I uh, can't wait to try it. Try this. Oh, yeah, you can middle finger flip it. I can get a full purchase on this knife. It's not a real big knife by any means, but it's definitely big enough it, uh, to get a full purchase on it. It 
Look at that guys, reversible pocket clip with a slug. So you can have a, a nice show side still. I mean, it's fully possible because this knife is under a hundred dollars. Under a hundred dollars. S35BN, all titanium, frame lock. Well, it's good action, good action. Uh, yeah, it's definitely getting better as you flick it. It's, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot, guys. Uh, this is definitely a contender to the, uh, this is, this is probably, I gotta use it, I gotta carry it, gotta functionally, you know, put it through my paces. That's it. That's the all titanium Asher Spiro. Uh, I believe. I'm not sure if he's hitting the site with these right now, but he does have a few. And uh, I think Kevin already said it once that you could go to uh, you could hit you could hit Asher up, which is Justin up on uh, Instagram and ask him. He cool dude. Um, wow, that's good. That's that's pretty good, man. That's for under a hundred bucks. This is a, it's extremely impressive. Very impressive. Uh, that's it for this one, guys. I want to change a couple things down now. I've been asked to do some top-down shots so you guys can see the knife better, and I agree. Uh, it, I agree. It's about the knife. You should be able to see it better. For sure. Um, I'm working on a top down shot. I think I need to just get a mat done from uh, Lancelot Leather Joe and so I can have something to shoot down on. Um, right now I really don't have anything that great to shoot down on. I guess I could shoot down on the same mat everybody else does, the, the mouse pad of, you know, NAFs you know but uh, I don't really want to do that I'd rather have like a breakdown map something that's very useful to me also uh, supports him in a way and something I can put my logo in because guys I didn't know if you guys knew this but I do have stickers I got this little one here BT says Brandon Thrasher says unedited and I've had that one for a while and I got the BT unedited sticker I've also had that one for a while, but this is the new one. This is the one that I've been working on a little bit, and uh, it's probably gonna, I'm gonna see if Joe can put this in a, a teardown mat for me, but there it is, man. It's the garage door, and it's my say, welcome, come on in. That's it, that's my new sticker. So, I'm working on the top down shot, guys. And honestly, the top-down shot, if I do one, it's going to probably be my last take video because uh, I feel like if I did it on unboxing videos, it wouldn't really get my reaction like, you know, when I unboxed this and got to flick it for the first time, which is, is still amazing. Even though the detent really isn't uh, very strong on it, it's not it's not strong like left-handed man this because this clip is so long oh it, it left-handed flick no problem like zero problem with that you know job shut this thing has an awesome sound to it uh you just don't want to stop flicking it really you know and the chavez so i have the scapegoat this is easier to flick out because it's a little taller here. The handle's taller. And it goes in and out of pocket way easier than my job is, my scapegoat. Um, so I'm I'm definitely still on a search for the 229. Uh, I don't care if it's drop point or tonto. I do like the tonto, but I, I, I wouldn't mind having the drop point. And 
I'm telling you right now, guys, this is no joke. Best detent. Best detent. Leon Ma Field. This thing shoots out. When you break that detent, this thing shoots out. And the action is no joke. Doesn't matter if you're in the lower hole or the upper hole. Anyway, I'm not reviewing shit. That's it for this one, guys. Uh, that's uh, unboxing for suppressions of the Asher All Titanium Spiro. I'm impressed. I'm I'm very impressed. And uh, carry it. I'll leave, give you guys the final take shortly. Obviously, I got a couple other things. I got a final take first. Anyway, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Uh, hit me in the comments. Let's shoot the shit. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what I need to see. Cheers. To you guys out there, I hope your beginning of the week has been a successful day and happier than mine by far. And, uh, you know, get out there, do something positive. Do something positive for you, do something positive for somebody else. Make yourself happy, make somebody else happy. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one.